Guys, guys, it's official. Plus size self is the best anime of the summer. Let me say it again right now because I don't think I'm going to fabricate on this one. This is the biggest hot take I'm going to say. Plus size elf is the best anime of the summer. Of all the summer. It's like every single time I watch Plus Size Elf, I just love every freaking character. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. You want a hot take? Here's a hot take when it comes to Plus Size Elf. And I'm going to say it again. I don't know if I said it last week when I did this video, but I'm going to say it again. Plus, the cast, the girls of Plus Size Elf are hotter than the girls of Fairy Tale. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You see, every anime show I watch, I always have a pass or smash type thing. Where if I watch Rent a Girlfriend, I'm smashing Sumi, I'm smashing Chizu, I'm smashing Ruka. The pass is like, fuck mommy. You know what I mean? When I look at Fairy Tale, there are a few characters I smash or pass. And Naruto, pass or smash. Bleach, pass or smash. But when I watch Plus Size Elf, when I watch Plus Size Elf, guys, ladies and gentlemen, stay with me on this page here. I'm smashing all of them. I am smashing all of them. No freaking debate. There is no effing debate when it comes to the cast of Plus Size Elf. I'm smashing all of them. The, the two elves, the ogre, the cyclops, the dragon lady, the freaking dwarf, the freaking the cyclops, the ogre, the the, 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 the the dragon, the pig girl, the mermaid. I'm smashing all of them. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just going now. Now, you know, after watching 10 episodes right now, it's safe to say that this show is now goaded. It is goaded. Yes. Because this plus size elf show is not just about working out as well, even though it is, but it's also the thick girls in anime. Like, we have seen some anime girls past and present, but there's never a time where we look at them and say, oh my god, they fucking thick and fucking hot. I love this show so much that they are so thick, the best thick girls we have seen in anime. Like, like you can't, you can't make this stuff up. And like I said, I'm smashing all of them. And in this episode, they gave us more than we ever imagined when it comes to the etchiness that is Plus Size Elf. And then Plus Size Elf gave us that where it's just like, okay, I see where the direction is going. Because when it comes to etchy animes, despite where genre it is, you're bound to have one thing. And the one thing, and well, other things, but the one thing you gotta add in an etchy anime are tentacles. Yes, plant, tentacles, octopus tentacles, you name it. As long as their tentacles involve, you're going to make it into a splendid episode. And this episode gave us. So without further ado, let's get right to it with Plus Size Elf episode 10. All right, uh, sit back, guys, because we're going to get down to business. Let's start with something that's kind of reasonable and understandable. The elf girl. Now, the elf girl got her bag of fries like she always have, her salty french fries addiction. And then the dog girl just takes the takes it from her. Mind you, mind you, the elf girl is, you know, for a big girl like her, she could really run for those fries. She, she could run. There's a warning for that. You take a fry, she'll run to chase you. And then we got some fan service shots of her trying to crawl through a hall in the, in the, under the wall. I mean, under the bench just to, not the bench, the, the fence. Her ass showing, and she's still running for it. But the dog girl just did it because she just feeding a puppy. But the puppy don't like the fries all because of a, it's too salty. <laughs> and yeah, fries, French fries with salt added a little sodium. I had French fries yesterday without salt. Like, I really had a cheeseburger with fries yesterday without salt. <laughs> but that's there and there. Now, uh, I think because I had fries, because of her. It was because of her I had fries. I didn't know that. Now, let's cut to the trace here. Coffee. The theme behind this was coffee. Now, we all drink coffee almost seven days out the week, 365 days a year. Some people drink coffee one day a week. Some drink three. Some drink five days, depending on the person. Now, there are varieties of coffee. The black coffees, the half and half coffees. Some, some people prefer Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Some prefer McDonald's coffee. Some prefer 
like Starbucks coffees, everywhere or the deli coffees when you ask them to make half and half. And there are some people who prefer like black with two sugars or half and half with two sugars. Or maybe some people like black with four sugars, four packs of sugars. You know, it all depends on the person who loves coffee. Now me, I drink coffee, but not every day. I don't drink coffee every single day. And then now if you ask me if I drink Starbucks coffees, no. I don't go to those Starbucks. To be honest with you guys, I don't go to all coffee shops. I just don't. I drink those Starbucks coffees. You know those you know when you go in the deli and they got those Starbucks coffee in a glass? Those are the coffees I fuck with. Those are the coffees I fuck with. I mean, they're the best ones. So the elf girl go inside a cafe, a little cafe where they make the splendid, gorgeous coffee. And we, we sort of introduced to the elf, I mean introducing the angel girl, but you know, we already see her now. We only saw her for that one scene. But, you know, his the MC showed up with the coffee beans and all that, because the coffee's very really delicate. But for her reaction, she never again, this is a girl, this is a girl that never tasted coffee in her life. So her first time drinking coffee, it's just like yeah, that reaction. It's that funny reaction. <laughs> oh my god, it was funny. Now, the biggest talk. Ooh, let's get this to piss up. <clears throat> so they tried the the elf girl, the MC, along with the shark girl. I mean, the, yeah, the, the mermaid girl, the pig, the dark elf, who's by the way the hottest dark girl, dark skin girl anime. Which by the way, the other elf girls coming out. So if you ask me who's hotter between the elf girl from Plus Size Elf and this new elf Yandere, which I'm gonna talk about when they air, I'm picking her over that elf Yandere. But that's a different topic in another way. Anyway, the plant girl. The plant girl, you know, you gotta think. You gotta think about this plant girl. She drinks nutrients from any source that is water related or liquid related like if she take it to the pool it's going to absorb the plant so for her to drink water absorb the plant now they all drinking coffee regular typical coffee that you see around a bunch of people just sitting around drinking coffee on a regular basis after that the uh plant girl just drank the coffee but the way how she sound is like all the nutrients Everything that's in the coffee made her turn into a freaking gal. She turned into like not the Kitagawa gal or the Haj or the Hokata gal. She turned into like the Hajime no gal. She turned into that wrinkled skin from Hajime no gal. Go watch Hajime no gal if you if you get the idea. But she turned into her. Her she turned into that dark skin gal. That goes like, OMG, this is now like, oh my God. It's like she went from light skin to dark skin. So after watching her drinking the coffee and turning dark skin, so when I'm, it just had, it just had a, a thought. So you're telling me if she would have drink Gatorade, if it's a red Gatorade, she turned to like some in angry person, like some inside out. You know what I mean? If she drinks a blue Gatorade, she turns sad. You know, how, how does that work? I can't imagine if she drinks liquor. I want to know what it's like if she was to drink liquor, wine, anything like that. I bet that plant is going to go fucking crazy, destroying everything. And that's what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this plant girl is so freaking hot. Not only she's, I'll smash her even if she's a gal. <laughs> I'll smash her even if she turned into a gal from drinking coffee. I'll take it any day of the week. So, when it comes to edgy animes, what do we got? Tentacles. And when you get tentacles, you got fan service. One more time. Fan service. The, you know, the tentacles of the plant came out of the ground and literally just captured everybody. I mean, that plant girl, you got one tentacle that was slapping the ass of, a, of the main elf. I was sick. I, damn, I wish I was the tentacle. I wish I was a tentacle so I could slap the ass of the elf girl. Because that was funny. And then you got the tentacles wrapping around the pig girl, which was hot, by the way. And then captured this mer the shark girl, I mean the mermaid, and took down the dark elf. But the real thing about it was the moment for the... I feel... You know what? I'll be honest with you. I don't feel bad for the MC. I don't feel bad for the MC. All the tentacles did was wrap around his body and say, devour the plant inside of her like this. I mean, I, I look, we're all grown ups. Can we just say she, they want the D? That plant girl wanted the D. 
Let's stop. Let's stop there. That plant girl wanted the D. And at the end of the chaos that's going on, he's all whimpering like, <laughs> look, don't feel bad. I'm jealous. I wish I was his shoes so I could smash the plant girl and t smash and put my D on top of her, on top of that, uh, her, the little plant thing that she has on her head. I'll smash it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. So if for him to like whip it like, <laughs> look, 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 I respect the MC. Don't get me wrong. But in that scenario with the plant girl, I will smash it regardless. I'll put it. If she asks me to put my in up there, I'll do it. I don't care. And then at the end of the episode, we see another elf girl coming to the prey. Now, for those of you who don't know this character, those of you who don't know, even though it's short, I'll tell you right now. That's the elf girl's aunt. You know, the blonde hair girl, the, I mean, the main, the, the, fr the French fry addicted elf, that's her aunt. You're going to see a lot of her, too. And I see where this is after, and then check, check, and tell me, and I'll tell you this, I read the manga, so I know what we're going to expect. I can't wait to see more. Overall, though, oh, by the way, the ending, I love it. The ending, you got the entire cast showing, but everyone else doing jumping jacks. And at the ending credits where they show all of them, I'll tell you, and I'll say this once, and I'll say it again. I am smashing every single one of them. No ifs, ands, or buts. Especially their butts. But I will smash all of them. All of them. I don't give a fuck. But overall, though, this was a splendid episode. Once again, with the, with the theme of coffee being the source of natural disasters. That's the, the lesson of this show. Coffee brings the blackness, turns you black. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, wrong analogy. Coffee makes you do crazy things. And that's what they're going to do. So, fellas, word of advice. When you have a plant at home, feed it coffee. Because I want it, it might turn something crazy. If you have a plant, bring some coffee, bring it to that, and see what happens. And I can't wait to see more of it. But next week is going to be the debut of the aunt. So, we're going to see a lot of that. We're going to see her action as well. So, Thank you for watching my review of Plus Size Elf. I'll look forward for next week's episode of it, and I'm sure you will.